So um, I'm Elliot. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm with PyTop from London. And um, I did have a few slides, but I'll, uh, I'll do it from memory. Um, PyTop, um, we believe in inspiring people to unlock their own potential, whether it's a child in school in the US or the UK, or a child in a refugee camp in Kenya, or whether it's an adult that's trying to improve their digital literacy um, that's going into a library uh, in their local town. We, on an individual level, um, kind of make it possible for people to actually start creating things, inventing things, getting hands-on with technology so they can actually start to understand how it works. In a school environment, um, it's about trying to make STEAM education um, a phrase we keep on hearing more and more now, but trying to make STEAM education possible, but also affordable in any school. So uh, what exactly is PyTop? PyTop is a luminous green modular laptop that you actually build yourself and is powered by something called the Raspberry Pi, which I saw earlier at the LIGO project. So. To give you a proper introduction to what this product is, I need to tell you what a Raspberry Pi is. A Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized computer that costs only $35. Um, it's designed and made by a company in Cambridge in the UK, and they've now got 15 million of these all around the world. Um, this is a, oh, did it come up there? Oh, this is the website page. Um, and Raspberry Pi has been a really, fantastically interesting project because one, it's affordable, um, so schools have been able to buy lots of them, but also it means you can actually get hands-on with coding, computer science, and technology. Um, and the Raspberry Pi is just beneath the laptop on the left-hand side of that page. So you can see it's got USB connectors, it's got Ethernet, it's got HDMI, but it's, it's just the board. Um, one of the great things about Raspberry Pi is it's formed this open community. So like many other organizations, PyTop decided to create something with that, and that's what we have with this bit of hardware. So it makes it incredibly easy to use your Raspberry Pi and to take it with you wherever you want to use it. We also have, that's laying down on that table there, a desktop version of the same product that's fully integrated um, and running on both of these products is our operating system, which is full of educational applications that make it easy for a teacher to deliver their computer science or STEAM lessons. As part of that, um, there's something called PyTop Coder, which has got about 100 hours of project-based learning projects, plans, things that help a teacher kind of get stuck into um, those kind of lessons. We're headquartered in London, so in the UK or in England, they made computer science mandatory in 2014, um, but they didn't really prepare teachers for this new curriculum. Um, so overnight, almost, they had to do computer science, and Ofsted was roaming the halls, you know, uh, checking out what they were doing. So we realized that we need to try and help them. So PyTop Coder has 100 hours of those pre-built lesson plans to help them get started. And they're endorsed by the Oxford, Cambridge, and RSA exam body for teaching computer science. Um, is my time 30 seconds left? Yeah, I can keep going. So that's kind of the, uh, the operating system as well. But, um, my role at PyTop has been more on the commercial side with partnerships, so I'm not a teacher. But I do get to go into some schools and see workshops, and I spend a lot of time actually training our partners. And uh, I remember I went to one just outside of London, and it was the first time they used PyTop that we decided to work together, and I had 15 people in the room uh, with 15 PyTops. And we were going through, and one of the things that you can do at a PyTop is not just be coding on a screen, but is actually having your digital environment interact with the physical. 
So connecting actual physical hardware to your PyTop and programming it to do something. So in this training, we were just trying to get them to create a traffic light system. So you have like a breadboard, it's called, and some wires and some LEDs and buttons and things, and they have to build this and then write some Python to make it do something. Now, <laughs> one of the great things when you do these lessons is people don't get it right first time, which is when they really start learning. But in this one, you know, it was one of those times where no one could get it working first time. So yeah, you're kind of thinking there, like, oh, God, you know, do they just kind of think this thing is rubbish? Because they're thinking, well, it can't be us. If we all got it wrong, you know, it must be the product. But as we went around over the next 20 minutes, more and more people started to, to get this, and they get the, that light bulb moment when literally the LED turns on, and they've actually done that themselves, something they've never done before. But there was one guy that I always remember that was really struggling, and he actually just turned away from the desk from the pie top. I kind of went up to him and said, what's going on? What's wrong? He said, oh, I always sucked at school. I've always been rubbish. Like, I'm, I'm a bit stupid. And I can't do it. There's, there's no point. I'm, I'm useless. I said, oh, OK, OK. You know, let's, let's just have a look. Let's just see what you've done. Because there's many things. You've got wires going into pins and all this kind of stuff where things can go wrong. And slowly and surely, we broke down the problem and realized where he'd gone wrong. And then about five minutes later, you know, he's got his code right, and this LED turns on. Sounds so simple. But literally, in this guy that was in his early 30s, his eyes just lit up. And he was like, oh my god. And then over the next 15 minutes, I almost couldn't keep him quiet. Because like, oh, I've got two LEDs, three LEDs. Where's everyone else? You know, um, He was off. And that was like this empowering moment for him. Um, so that, that's like what I see, but that's what we're trying to do in schools all around the world. This company started three years ago with two guys, and we're now in 1,500 schools um, across 80 countries. And I guess where are we trying to go next? Um, it's trying to make our operating system even more useful for teachers, creating new hardware that, again, just opens up more potential opportunity for people to unlock their potential. So um, thank you. I'm Pytop, and any questions? So I was just wondering, uh, there, I think I've seen some other products like this uh, out there. Um, what makes Pytop unique, and you know, what, what uh, sets it apart? So um, I guess the, there are lots of things out there which are aiming to help STEM and coding. Um, so I guess the really unique thing about PyTop is that it blends the digital with the physical. So I can actually write some code and see the impact that has on the real world in real time. Light up an LED, create a burglar alarm, connect it to some sort of other sensor. So that, that's one. Um, and then really a lot of these things are fairly similar, but they're targeting, say, different age groups. Um, and we're very much focused on getting kids from when they first start to code, very quickly transitioning them through to text-based coding, which is what they're actually going to use in their real life. And the fantastic thing about Raspberry Pi um, is that it's actually used by, like, well, a lot of the people that use Raspberry Pi are actually like 45 years old. That's like the average profile uh, of a maker. So with a Pi Top, you might use it in school to code, but you can keep on using it forever. Uh, so I said that's one of the other differences as well.